Welcome to What's Inside the Matte Bullet, where we're going to show you exactly what goes into making one of these special cars. So the first part of call when building one of these vehicles is the IRS base kit. It comes with the plastic alignment bushings which centralise the subframe and remove any movement between the bolt and the subframe. Then the silver support bushings sit on the bottom and the top of the subframe on all corners. These components help lock the subframe to the chassis, reducing wheel hop and improving traction without compromising any comfort. So the next step at the rear of the vehicle is to install the springs. These have a Steeder Magnaride dual rate performance springs and they have a top line in springs for any Magnaride equipped car. They keep this car planted to the road and you don't lose any comfort. So now we're installing the adjustable toe links by Steeder. They are billet aluminium and they come with a rose joint at this end and this reduces toe change under load. These are the Steeder Billet Vertical Links. As you can see, they are a lot thicker than stock. These links extremely reduce wheel hop by allowing no flex through the link. Throughout the vehicle, we use Steeder anti-roll bars. These anti-roll bars come with freeway adjustability and are much thicker than stock to reduce body roll when cornering. To finish off the rear anti-roll bar setup, we also install Steeder adjustable drop links allowing us full adjustment of a roll bar. So to finish off at the rear end, we use a Steeder IRS support braces. Now these support braces really tie in this rear subframe to the chassis of the car to allow no movement whatsoever all while retaining comfort. So we're now working his way down the vehicle to the transmission mount. The transmission bush insert helps reduce movement between the transmission and the shifter to help keep the gears aligned so you don't miss any shifts. So now moving on to the front of the vehicle, we're installing the Steeder anti-roll bar and the Steeder springs, which you've seen installed on the rear, along with the billet mounts and adjustable drop links. So when installing the front strut assembly, we replace the top factory OEM strut bolt with a camber bolt. This allows full camber adjustment of the front end of the vehicle so we can set the car up to our specification. So now all the suspension components are installed on the vehicle, we're going to be installing the Stage 2 Whipple Supercharger with a billet, uprated, oil pump and crank gear, and then it's on to our custom four-wheel geometry setup. vehicles receive the Nemesis oil cooler kit to give peace of mind for the customer. The most important part of suspension upgrades is making them work in harmony. A custom four-wheel geometry setup is carried out to optimise the chassis system. All black plastic trims are painted gloss black to enhance the car's luxurious feel. The car then goes on to the dyno for a full testing session, using HP Tuner software for data logging to make sure that everything is working as it should be.
After completing the build, we feel no job is fully complete without the car being fully detailed. The matte bullet receives a multi-stage decontamination wash, clear bar and tyre removal, two-stage medium cut and polish, interior Swissfax detail, Swissfax best of shirt on paintwork and wheels. To finish off the vehicle, the Steeder functional race wing is installed. A custom bullet start button and Carroll Shelby CS11 wheels wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport Forest tires.